begin to ship your package before you go to the website and order it. They know what you're going to order with their algorithms. But that's only because they've been tracking you for 10 years. When you break with them, now you are reborn. And this is not even religious. This is a program level algorithm. You have an ancient algorithm unknown in its true providence. The eye has not seen, ear has not heard God's real operation. They put out fake men to stunt and de-science the ancient teachings so that you will not go back to the basic common sense of what the earth really is. So you will accept these new demigods as your gods. What type of God says we're crap when we were able to build this and plans to kill us when we manifest it as a God? Ray Kurzweil said, I don't believe in God yet. I went and saw Transcendence last night, an incredibly wicked movie. Where, the, where he is Johnny Depp, the scientist, the computer is God manifest, and it, it, it brings the general public back to the Stone Age. The singularity destroys technology except for itself. And now it is a biotech in the Earth's genetic code to save it. Well, let me tell you. Everything that the system's bringing out rewrites the genetic code and ends the planet as we know it. So this is what they're doing. And their religion is in your face that they're God. Folks, do you think Rachel Maddow or Janet Reno is your God? The creator made us and we were able to create this these people have hijacked the Promethean fire that God gave us, and then they tell us they're God when the spark of God, little g, was given to us in the image. And then everything they do is to attack the image and to attack the creation because it looks like and acts like and has the stamp and the smaller algorithm of the greater creator. The truth is we are the nanotech of God. We, the life on this planet, are the finger of God. And the enemy has hacked us and is using our power to create, to then create abominations on the face of the earth. I mean, are you going to be ruled by that narcissistic, stunted, small technician of evil? Rachel Maddow, the people on MSNBC saying, quote, I'm a terrorist connected to the Boston bombing who's deeply racist. My lawyer said, oh, you'll definitely win a lawsuit against them. It'll take two years. You want to do that? No. Everyone knows they're discredited. Everyone has voted organically that they don't want to watch them. We don't want your godhead. We don't want your manifestation. We don't think you're God. We don't want to follow you. We don't want to worship you. We are fulfilled. We are, our destiny is there for us. You are not our destiny. You are an abomination. You are death. You stink. You're ugly. You smell, literally. You understand that? You are a failure. It's why you want to butcher us. It's why you hate us. Do you understand that scum? Stand down. Get behind us. MSNBC, White House, get behind me, Satan. Get behind me. I do not want to be part of your works. I am a free, sentient being in the universe. And under universal law, I declare my freedom. I declare that I will have justice. And I declare I am not your slave. You got that? You understand that? I think you do. You don't like that, do you? Now get out of humanity's way. If you guys think you can get your own resources that weren't stolen and go off to some asteroid and build the hellish world you want to build, you go there and feed off each other and be greedy and hateful and scum and pose that you're the good guys all day. We don't want to be around you. We, you our children are ours, and they belong to the thousand generations before us. They do not belong to you. You belong to your generations of evil, failed scum guaranteed. You go be with your people, we'll be with ours. How's that sound? And people whose genetics resonate with us, old, young, black, white, north, south, east, west, they will be called to the true light. You will be called to your inferno.
that you flap around like blind moths. So, you've got your God, we've got our God. Our God is the God that has justice and that has families and that has honor and truth and we can see the fruits of your God. Your God creates World War III. Your God creates Al-Qaeda. Your God creates death and destruction and abortion and fraud. Your God creates giant ghettos of dependent, soulless people grown up in front of television their whole lives, acting like thugs with giant prisons and record cancer rates. We don't like where you take us. We don't like the way you taste. And you force fed us a lot of your evil. We're now going to stick our fingers down our throats and vomit you out of us. We're now going to exercise you. We're now going to perform a global exorcism and kick your asses off the planet. How does that sound? We'll be right back. I'm going to give the number out and take calls in the third hour. I'm a little bit preachy today. We're going to come back with your calls. David Knight's coming up with some breaking news as well. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Documents, the ones they released, they redacted over 90%, saying we want to shut down new media. We don't want the public. You can go read uh, the uh, 30 pages or so. Where they say we don't want the public having access, we only want controlled media. Uh, this could really, you know, cause us big problems. That's who these people are. Anytime the globalists get control of a country, they put a dictatorship in if they can. And that's what Homeland Security is, is the incremental dictatorship, the politically correct dictatorship over America. And everyone's starting to see that. And this could really boomerang on the establishment. And we could have a renaissance, a restoration in this country, and then worldwide. You notice the U.S. doesn't even criticize Chinese abuses anymore of their political class, of their general public, because they support it. We have become the bad guys. We have bad people running things. We have to say no. And now there's so many other media outlets in the world. English is the world language. And they talk about this in the document as well. And so if our stuff doesn't get published here or doesn't get picked up here, it gets picked up around the world. And see, most media only cares about their market, who they target. I get asked all the time by consultants and people, um, you know, well, how, how do you target your demographic? I don't target anything. I tell you what I think, what I've researched, and I want to reach Russians and Chinese and Africans and Brazilians and, and Mexicans and South Islanders and Germans and Israelis and, and, and Syrians. I want to reach all of them. I get a thrill when I get a call from Syria or a call from Israel. I get a thrill when I get a call from Germany or Australia. I want to reach people. I want to empower people. I want to stop the thugs and the bullies and the cartels that are tax exempt while raising taxes so high it's making it hard to live worldwide. I take it personal. And we need to start taking it personal. But it shows how scared they are, A, and, and B, what authoritarians they are. And then you understand when you watch MSNBC now, when they're up there saying the Drudge Report picks up info wars and it's terrible and, and it's connected to violence and terrorism and these people are radicals and what are we going to do? That's a dying operation, literally, that just keeps the lights on as a propaganda operation, losing money to make it look like they still have moral authority, trying to boss everyone around. But as soon as the libertarians figure out and the constitutionalists that they've got the power, it's game over. Now, I've done almost two hours of transmission. I'm going to give the number out for wide open phones, your take on this issue and what these documents mean and where the attack on free speech is going and how we beat these people. I want to hear from you in the next hour. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Briefly, we need your support. We don't get taxpayer money like MSNBC. I say that every day. They get stimulus money. We don't get Warren Buffett money like ABC News. We get funded by you. High quality supplements, high quality uh, Made in America apparel, high quality books, videos, materials, you name it. Water filters, the best prices, the best units. And how do we successfully do it? We also have really high quality products, so you keep coming back. We sell you stuff we'd want. Everything I carry or watch, you know, all the stuff is stuff I like, stuff I've, uh, stuff I use, stuff I'm into. I treat people like I want to be treated. It's real old fashioned. I wouldn't treat somebody bad, even my enemy. I just want to stay away from them. The point is, buy our products, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-1111.
888-253-3139. Call, ask any questions about specials. 888-253-3139. Or InfoWarsLife.com to find our proprietary, one-of-a-kind products. InfoWarsLife.com. Third hour, rampaging forward. This is G We don't use maneuvers here. We're straight up. Radio Network. We shoot you straight. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.